Hi folks, welcome to Last Minute Maths again. And um, in this video, we're going to solve a more difficult uh, completing the square question, uh, solving a quadratic using the completing square method. And it's actually as a follow on to my previous video, where I went through the theory and the proof of the completing square method. In this one is just a straightforward question and looking at how we go about solving it. So let's jump straight in. Right, we've got this um, quadratic. You've got 5x squared plus 3x minus 8 equals 0. And we're going to start by getting rid of the 8. So that's going on the right-hand side. So 5x squared plus 3x minus 8 becomes a plus 8 on the other side. All right. Then factor out the 5. All right. And you get 5 brackets x squared plus 3 over 5x, close brackets, uh, equals 8. All right, so that's fairly standard. The next thing is to complete the square for the item inside the brackets. All right, so in this case, let's just use some big square brackets to close that bit off and leave the 5 on the outside, as always. Inside the brackets, the x squared plus 3 over 5x, 3 fifths x, is going to be halved. So 3 fifths is going to be halved. So remember that 3 fifths times half, 3 over 10, all right? So x plus 3 tenths, all squared. And then remember again, you've got to subtract whatever this is, square it and subtract it. So that's going to be 3 squared over 10 squared, which is minus 9 over 100. Okay. And next step, I'm going to put the 5 back in and multiply both terms. So effectively, I've got 5 times brackets x plus 3 over 10 all squared minus 5 times 9 over 100, which just to prove is 9 over 20, 45 over 100 equals 9 over 20. All right. All right. So that's clear enough. Next step, I'm going to move the minus 9 over 20 to the other side. And so we get 5 times x plus 3 over 10 all squared equals 9 twentieths plus 8, all right, and tidying that up, expressing 8 as a multiple of 20, so 160 over 20, and we can combine those, and it gives us 169 over 20, all right. Now, we're still left with that 5 here, so what we're going to do is to take it to the other side and divide by 5, all right, so under here, and so that effectively becomes 169 over 20 times 5 in the denominator. So 169 over 100, all right? And so that gives us x plus 3 over 10 all squared equals 169 over 100. Get rid of the square by square rooting both sides and remembering the plus minus, right? We must consider both positive and negative roots. So x plus 3 over 10 equals plus minus square root of 169 over 100, all right? And remember, it's the whole thing like that. Okay, so we're almost there. x plus 3 over 10 equals plus minus 13 over 10, all right? So bring the plus 3 over 10 to the other side, and we get x equals minus 3 over 10 plus minus 13 over 10. Okay, and just to prove a point, show where that came from, x equals minus 3 over 10 minus 13 over 10, and that's simply minus 16 over 10. You can write it as minus 1.6 if you prefer, um, or minus 16 over 10. So the final answer um, for that particular one um, would actually 
be, let's say, what are we going to divide by 2? So 8 minus 8 fifths is the final answer on that one. Okay, And the other side, you've got x equals minus 3 over 10 plus 13 over 10. And that basically gives you 10 over 10 equals 1. So there you go. That is the final answer there. x has two values, minus 8 over 5 and comma 1. All right, so there you go. That's a, a more difficult type of completing the square question. If you have any questions about it, any suggestions, comments, as always, please do leave it down below. And um, you could always subscribe and wait for the next video in the next few days. Thanks for watching.